We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Texas Rangers and the Colorado Rockies. Get ready for Rockies baseball next. Herman Marquez will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, sometimes you can really pitch well, and this guy certainly did in this last one. Double-digit strikeouts went deep in the game, but unfortunately took the loss in a start that he threw the ball really well. We'll see if he can repeat that performance, but maybe get a little bit different result in this one. So Elvis Andres the next to bat, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Andrew. Here it comes now to Andrus. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. The boys, we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Hey, thanks, Matty V. Hey, Debo, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys, definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Standing in now, Danny Santana. He swings and grounds it to short, and that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Ball one to start the at bat. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is. Probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. The second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. As a look, now the pitch. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down-and-in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this pitch arsenal. You just got to find a way to shorten up and battle. Put something in play. Rip down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave one. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Corey Kluber gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy on the bump sitting on 99 career wins. So you know right now while he's taking his warm-ups, he's thinking about one thing. I need one more win to get to that magic century 100. That's a pretty big feather that you'll be able to put in your cap, and we'll see how he does in this one here today. Stepping into the box, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a liner. But foul. Here comes the 0 1. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. Now they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this is going to be an interesting watch for me. 
I can only think back to when you're facing an ace. The team's playing well. You're confident. You go to the ballpark and you want to set the tone. Everybody's in the hitters meetings trying to formulate a game plan to combat what this guy's been able to do throughout the course of the season so far. This should be an interesting game of cat and mouse tonight. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away, batter's able to keep his hands inside, not try and do too much, and just force feet a single. First pitch of the at bat. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Flip onto the second baseman covering. He'll take care of him at first. Score at three to four on the sacrifice, and the runner moves into scoring position now with only one away. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the stretch. Oh, left out. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The count now at 2 and 1. A bouncer to the left side. Frazier's up with it. In time to first, and there are two away. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. Two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. First offering on its way. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Blackman has a history in coming through in the clutch moments of course it's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses but with him there's no denying it we've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career it just seems he elevates his game somehow and the pressure is on yeah Matty he has definitely put that debate to rest he has absolute ice water in his veins. Cut fastball finds the target two and one. Tapia at second with two down. Now the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for Colorado. We are still scoreless. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Ronald Guzman. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 0. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul. Two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. One ball, no strikes to count. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And there's ball two now. Hey. 
good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled off wide at first but boy that had some zip on it. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. That he looks better. really sharp out there, guys. In now, Robinson Chirinos. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now a shot sent off to the right side but foul. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. One and two to the Rangers catcher. Still one and two as he fouls it away. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Two two pitches fouled away. And another foul ball. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. I know the fans love the souvenirs but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great and he struck him out so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat but he'll take it as the inning is over one two three go the Rangers will go to the bottom of the second no score David Dahl to the plate now as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second and that's high for a ball one and oh count even now at one and one. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. The one two. Left side but well foul. Boy good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle and everything happens so quickly. So they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right. So that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Hit out towards second, fielded by a door. Throw gets him, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll move to the third with no score. 
Here's Rognit Odor now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. No balls and a strike to count. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, d -Row, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. On to second, but it's a wide throw, and the shortstop can't recover. I'm not here to make excuses, but it is cold tonight, and it looks a little damp out there, too. The ball might have just slipped out of his hands on that one. So it's second and third following the error, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest one. His ability to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Interesting. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And he lays off for ball one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Here's the pitch on two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. Now back, left fielder, Willie Calhoun. Stepping in now, Willie Calhoun. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. So he throws him for the strikeout. Now Willie back. Calhoun becomes the first out of the yeah. inning. Yeah. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. Outside for a ball, one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. A ball and two strikes. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Another full count pitch home. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just okay. didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Long throw to the plate. 
But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's Todd Frazier now. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, 1 and 2. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So three runs on four hits, one error in the inning, and two men left. Leading off the inning, Dom Nunez, and they'll need him to get something going here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. All ones the count. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now at the plate, Herman Marquez. Here comes the first pitch. Shows bunt as he gets this one down. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. First pitch of the at bat. Good pitch there, called a strike on the inside corner. Kluber's ready. Here's the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Hit out towards second. Odor has it. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out, and a high degree of difficulty. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off with the Rangers. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch on its way. Oh, and two, here it comes. Oh. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. Fouled away. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Now that the second base. One gone in the Texas fourth. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. First pitch coming, here it is. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Blackman going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
Now that so digging in now Corey Kluber over one with a run scored thus far first pitch on its way I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts they've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game and they've got the lead looking for more the wind up and the 0 2 pitch fouled off. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order, but they lead it three nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Here's the first pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. The 1-0. Grounded softly to the right. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now batting. Third baseman. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Chopped toward the second baseman. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Here's Charlie Blackman now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Calhoun waits on it. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. Andrus in an 0 and 2 hole here. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now. But that's now what that. happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. This is pulled into right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit, and this one bounds around against the wall. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a triple, his third hit of the night. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple, but he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Into the box now, Willie Calhoun. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. The 1 2. 
Still a ball and two strikes. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Still one and two. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the yeah, inning. Yeah. He was definitely well, pitching. Well. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One left for Texas. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now back. At the plate, Trevor Story. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Ball, well, that's out. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. The 1 0. Andrus will play this one at short. Throw on to first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. The bat, number one. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still down, three, nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled right back up the middle, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Digging in, Todd Frazier, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control, 0 and 2. Popped up. Murphy has a play. One out. Up next for the Rangers, Robinson Chirinos. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Here it comes, 0-2. Off the plate, ball one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 1-2. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back, no double play. Now batting, 
the second base. Rugnet. Into the box. Rugnet Odor. He's one for two in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen in D roll. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Rangers leave one. They lead it three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Dom Nunez will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that. Now, they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Ian Desmond will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now here's a swing and a high pop up drifting into shallow right field and the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause and there are two away now. Standing in Rymel Tapia he was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Two out, nobody on. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. This is skied into short left center. Andres onto the grass. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail it here, three to nothing. Jairo Diaz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 37, Jairo Diaz. So stepping in, Corey Kluber, 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now here it comes. Fastball and he gets by him a swinging strike. Oh, I love facing pitchers like this. He's leaving nothing to the imagination. Coming to get him some. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Oh, this is where you have to be really aggressive. One and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats. Go right after him. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Another one-two delivery. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Arenado's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Up next for the Rangers. Now to the plate, the Danny Santana. He tripled Danny. last time up. Santana. First pitch on its way. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. 
swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. That misses one and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the Ladies inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they lead it three nothing. Stepping in, Daniel Murphy. He was a ground out victim last time up. The first baseman, Daniel Murphy. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. High and deep down the left field line. But this will land untouched. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Odor ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Here's a fly ball well hit. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Charlie Blackman. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Bases are empty here with two men out. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to begin the eighth, and into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. 1-0 pitch on the way. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now battle. Here's Joey Gallo now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or he's going to drive the ball the other way? So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Gallo. Joey Gallo is the retired on strikes for the third time tonight. To the plate now, Ronald Guzman. 
as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one he's two for three and looking for more here sent on the ground out to second reined in throw to Murphy will take care of him and that'll end the inning Rangers set down in order but they're on top by a count of three to nothing and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl we're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt he's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in I don't know what it is I don't know if it's his wind up I don't know if it's just flat stuff but he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone and he's having a big game. to send him packing for the second time. Ground ball right into the shift. On to first with it is Andrus and it's in time one away. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth and in to hit next shortstop Trevor Story. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gallo is there two down. The bat. Digging in, Garrett Hampson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Clips the corner of the zone with the sinker for a strike. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. At the plate, Dom Nunez. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Andres into shallow left. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rangers three and the Rockies nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. And Todd Frazier the third base. Carlos Estevez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set. Here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Estevez comes at hitters with a good hard fastball. Change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Therefore, it is Blackman and he's got it for the first out. Now back. So next to the plate for Texas, Robinson Chirinos hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Here comes another 0-2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, 
Pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Lifted the other way to left center. Dahl will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They lead it three to nothing. Drew Butera will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. A cold strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Liner toward right center. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Rocky center fielder looking at a 2 0 count now. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. This is on the ground over to first, and that is through into right field for a single. You know, Dero, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. One and oh, the count. Runners on first with one down. One and one to the Rockies first baseman. He's good, he's good, he's and there he goes toward second. Strike called. Now the throw down is not going to get him as he swipes second. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across. The one-two. This is line to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now back. The first so striding forward now, Nolan Arenado. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Ball one to start the at bat. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. The 1-1. One, one. No, that's down. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Now the 2-1 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the center fielder. Still going back into the bleachers and gone. So a two run shot to left center as it's now a 3 2 ball game. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Now 
Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jose LeClerc takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now pitcher and batting in the depth spot, number 25, Jose LeClerc. Now catching and batting nine, number 56, Jose Trevino. The right field, Standing in now, Charlie Blackman, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Looks to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate. That's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run, but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Three to two the finish in tonight's game. The Rangers led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Corey Kluber earns the win his second as he finished just one out shy of nine complete innings. Herman Marquez racked up 12 strikeouts but still ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rangers, three runs on seven. Welcome to Fire Sale Gaming, powered up by FireSaleGames.com. So just shop our website, FireSaleGames.com, and get you a fire sale of a deal on some video games, we also got some books, DVDs, CDs, whatever you want. FireSaleGames.com. We about to turn it on.